What is that? <laughs> to my story animated and the title to this says the police returned a monster not my son so that's very intriguing that's Sounds why weird. we're watching this with you guys as well not sure what's gonna happen but title sounds very weird so let's just watch it i've never thought of myself as a perfect mother and i've always known no, i was never perfect. going to be one when i was 18 i got pregnant Oof. with a guy Oof. i had only been with one time his name was Brad, and he was the he class so bad dead. boy. When I told him I was pregnant, oh he switched schools the very next day. I tried texting him, calling him, but nothing worked. He blocked me, and it was Why? I was on my own. I'm kind of religious, and there was no way I was having an abortion. I made it I'll through ridicule that. at school, teachers using me as an example, and nine months of aching everything and he was born. I don't even she have my driver's license and I was holding it. my baby boy yeah. in my arms. I was so scared. I named yeah. him Andrew and soon it was just him and I against the world. My parents kicked me out and I had to make what? it on my own. I was super scared, but I managed to make a life for myself, getting my diploma and getting a job. I mean, sure, that job was working double shifts at two separate fast food restaurants. Gosh. Sure, I smelled uh. like grease all the time. Sure, no man would come within 500 feet of me at any given time. But I had a two-bedroom apartment with my son. I was someone. When Andrew was about six, things started to I'm go sure. downhill. For a week straight, he was throwing up seriously anything he ate. The doctors started That's to think bad. it was cancer. I was so scared, my no, heart was pounding. That is not good. It turns so out sad. he had some other health issues, so they had to do a few different surgeries and put a tube in his stomach. I Can was you afraid imagine that? he wasn't going to make it. Every time I had to go to work or class, I was so overtired, so overworked, that I told him he was being ungrateful and I needed to work. She shouldn't do that if he's like... The second like... the babysitter arrived at the door... Okay, at least I she left. has a babysitter. I just couldn't yeah. handle him. About 30 minutes later, I got a call from the babysitter. Andrew uh -oh. is gone, she screamed. What do you mean, Andrew? If she's a babysitter... A babysitter... <laughs> Gone, I yelled back. I what assumed maybe he was hiding in the attic or his playhouse because I yelled at him. Oh. But when I got home, I knew that wasn't the reality. His clothes Where would were he have gone. gone. He took his favorite stuffed animal. If he's only like six, how does he know like how to do all this stuff? Like take all his clothes and you know, what if was took it? gone. Gone. The next few hours were a blur of crying and talking to the police. They asked they the babysitter call this would be so sad if this actually. And no one got an answer. When they started asking neighbors, things got really bad for me. Oh, it turns out they had heard me screaming at Andrew that day. And that put me at the top of the police's suspect list. I just wanted them to find my baby. Every day, it seemed like there was less and less of a chance of them finding my son. The police were at my house daily. I felt like I was losing my mind. Then at 4 a.m., they called to tell me that Andrew had been found. I drove to the station to pick him up, tears in my eyes. Oh wait, eyes. isn't this the where they like 
Oh, it's Don't a monster. Give him. He had been found wandering outside the police station. Oh, it could be Andrew and he's just crying. changed. He didn't know where he had come from or Maybe. what had happened, but he knew his name. I raced in to see my son. <sighs> Only it wasn't my son. I felt like throwing up. The kid looked almost exactly like my son, but there was something weird about him. What looks it different? was almost like someone had made a fake apart. version of my son. He had the same smile, <sighs> the same face, the same shape. What if it's like his hair's cut? Cool. His eyes were what if it's all like wrong. A, I, that what should must have be been him. a happy moment absolutely wasn't. But you know what the kid did? He ran up and hugged me. Saying, Mommy, I missed you. He might be faking it. He might have been told to do that. Yeah. Unless it has to be him, though. No, it wouldn't be. I hugged him back with tears in my eyes. This is so confusing. Maybe it was my son. I rushed back out to speak with the detectives. As I was leaving, the kid cried after me, asking where I was going. When I and also, the, the kid would be like that if he just ran away from home. Yeah, because he would have run away on, from home on purpose. Yeah. And, somebody like and also, to if she was yelling at him, then he would be. He would. What if Andrew was like not being good at home, so the babysitter took him to the police? I didn't think he was my son. They all rolled their eyes. If he's not your son, then where is he? Did you do something with him? He called you oh. mommy. I felt like I was being backed into a corner. They were basically saying I either murdered my- They should be on her side. Own son, or I was trying to abandon him. I thanked the officers and I took the kid out of there. The whole ride home, I was trying to calm myself down. But every That's time I looked confusing. in the rear view, I yeah. saw the kid's eyes. He was just what is staring like a robot at me. Kid or I decided to play along, asking him where he had gone and what was going on with him. He said, I was gone for a while, but I'm back now, mommy. His voice even sounded different. That night, I laid him in bed. He asked for his normal bedtime story. Was I going crazy? His Obviously, an imposter wouldn't know he had a favorite. Later that night, I fell asleep. But when he's I gonna watch. Oh, he look, I said he's gonna be watching her. That is so creepy. His eyes look creepy. Oh. Ed was standing in the doorway, just staring at me. I asked him what was going on, and he said he wanted to lay in bed with me. I let him sleep beside me, but my heart was racing the whole time. I wouldn't want to fall asleep with my son like back. No. Why couldn't I just relax? What was wrong with me? Maybe him going missing had just shaken my head up or something? But when I woke up the next morning, it's I not knew bear. something was wrong. The entire <gasps> left side of my bed. It's ripped in pieces. How do you literally just rip her bed off? You can't just do that with Had been torn hands. to shreds. The pillow, the blanket, everything. I walked out to find Andrew lying in his own bed. He acted like he had no idea what I was talking about. He said he had never come in the room. He's smirking. Things just got worse for him. Wait, there. so what if there's Wait, he, he just said he never came in the room, but she was there when he walked in the room. Wait, so what if he was just hiding, like literally, or if he just left? So what if, like, yeah, what if Andrew was actually hiding somewhere and then they, like someone made a fake version of him? Yeah. Back to school, I got constant calls from the teacher telling me he was mean to classmates. He even threw a stapler at someone. Oh my god. She also mentioned something that made my skin crawl. Apparently, Andrew couldn't read or write anymore. Before he went missing, so Andrew was constantly making me little books and writing stories. That I knew he understood reading and writing. At home, I would catch Andrew standing in my doorway every night. He what? wouldn't eat anything Creepy. except for cereal and milk, even though my little Andrew had been allergic to milk since he was a baby. <gasps> I started trying to talk to friends about it, and they all thought I was going insane. They Why told me that? I should be grateful to have my son back. Every time I said I didn't think it was my son, they rolled their eyes. Then I noticed Andrew was drawing Everyone strange symbols all over his bedroom. It creeped me out so much. But if you can't write, then how does he draw? Illuminati. I told him to stop, he would start oh. hitting me. Oh my was gosh. my kid possessed what? by the devil or something? The very next day, we went to the park and I looked across the street. I swear I <gasps> saw Andrew, my real Andrew, playing in a yard. I ran through the street racing that after him, but when I him. got there, the kid was gone. I couldn't take not knowing anymore. One night I waited in the hallway for Andrew to fall asleep. <gasps> when he did, 
I tiptoed into the bedroom. He must be saying that things stomach doesn't... two years ago and had a pretty nasty scar. Oh god, I'm scared. If this was my child, I would learn the truth. I carefully, carefully lifted up his shirt to see. Okay, there was right, no let's scar. See the... This wasn't my son, just like I had suspected all along. I gasped it's and not the kid him. sat up in bed. I couldn't hold it in anymore. I started yelling, asking where my real son was, asking where he came from. Oh my gosh. But then why is the kid like, why is the kid The kid started sobbing. It he told then. me a man picked him up from an this orphanage and real. sent him over here and told him what to do. He said he hadn't wanted to cut him. <laughs> <laughs> His face. Admitted that he's been told to do all this stuff. <gasps> what if the guy that told him to do it? Hellos are waking up. The man said he would I'm know sure. and send him back to the orphanage right if he hadn't. Him. I could feel my heart shattering. This poor little orphan had basically been blackmailed. He told me his real name was Cyrus. I asked if he knew where the man's house was. Oh my god. The boy nodded and said he could show me the way. We drove through the city until we reached a little cottage. I told the boy to stay in the car. What's gonna happen? Oh I had to find that out. Looks like where, that looks like where the boy when was. Arrived, the house looked familiar. I realized it had been the house I saw the boy playing in earlier. Yeah. I called the cops and she told them there was a kidnapped child, but I couldn't wait. Knowing my aunt was in the right. house, possibly getting hurt, I couldn't just stand there. I banged on the door. To this day, my heart drops when I think about who I saw. <gasps> oh, my was my friend! On the other side. Was it that? was Brad, yeah, yeah. Andrew's father. It suddenly made sense the teddy bear's in a and twisted way. Yeah. Behind him, I could see Andrew <gasps> sitting on the couch. I shoved Brad aside and ran to Andrew, holding him in my he arms, while to Brad him screamed at me for keeping him and away Brad's from And Brad's crazy. Kid. When we arrived at the police station, everything <laughs> came to life. We've got two kids Brad now. had gone to the house, told Andrew he was his dad, and asked Andrew if he wanted to come with him. Andrew was upset because I had been gone all the time and had just yelled at him, so he went with him. When the search was all over the news, Brad knew he couldn't hold the police off much longer. He went to every adoption agency in the area until he found Cyrus. He sent Cyrus to oh, the police station, the scared him into playing Fruit. along, and that was that. <laughs> I apologized for being gone so much to Andrew and explained that none of this was his fault, but that I had to work hard to support us. I told him I would put more effort into protecting him. Good. That's when I realized Cyrus suddenly didn't have a home. This poor boy had been, oh, she's gonna adopt him, I been think. adopted and emotionally abused, and now he was going to have to go back? I knew what I had to do. I talked yes, to the police and the adoption it. agency, and they managed they to be like me caring for Cyrus. Yeah. Since I was on my way to becoming a nurse, within the next year. And then also they can, when they're at home and she's not there, they can play together. I would be more available and really able to give my sons the attention they deserved. Eventually, things took a turn oh for the better. I was very glad that Brad was never part of my son's upbringing. God. Not just for being a horrible person, but also for being stupid enough to think his plan would work. <laughs> so that was very interesting. Yeah. And it had a good end. I still got like I'm really confused. I know. Why was the bed ripped to pieces? Because um you got told to do it by a less like evil scissors. person. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like every single time me and Isla watch one of these we together, yeah, we go really quiet after and stuff, so that's why I was very quiet. So yeah, love you. See you soon. Bye! Bye.